Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Yesterday I was able to go ahead and do a shopping trip and it ended up being really quite extensive. I have a whole bunch of amazing goodies to share with all of you in this character warehouse haul, but I also picked up a few different items at the park as well as I picked up a thank you gift from one of the subscribers as well as customers for Mickey's Magical Delivery. So I thought that I would share all of those things with you. Before we jump into the haul video though, very quickly, just a reminder, every single month we do a contest to help say thank you to all of our subscribers, just for being subscribers, for watching the videos, for commenting on the videos. So if you are interested in joining, you do have to be a subscriber. New subscribers in the month of October will get three entries into the drawing. Existing subscribers already have one, and then you get additional entries entries just for commenting on any of the videos that we upload over the course of the month. So please come along with us on this crazy Disney journey and hit that subscribe button. Now uh, in just probably a couple hours I'm going to also be uploading a video on who we selected uh, with the random draw for the winner of our September. Uh, giveaway box. So please stay tuned for that or come back for that I should say. We'll also post that information on our Facebook page as well. So if you missed the video you can always check out Facebook. And our Facebook page is Mickey's Magical Delivery. So fantastic, fantastic shopping trip. I'm going to start with probably the highlight for me and that was the gift from my wonderful, wonderful um, customer, subscriber, and friend Thalina. Um, so thank you so much. She was visiting from Aruba and she was actually staying in the Orlando area and I had a huge monster bag of goodies that I had been storing for her. Because shipping is so expensive internationally, I have no problem storing items for people that are planning Disney trips and you want me just to do a resort delivery. So that is never a problem. And she had this massive, massive bag of goodies that I was able to bring to her. And what she left for me, because we were not able to meet up, it just didn't work out. There was a flight delay the first night that I was dropping it off. So she actually didn't get there for about three hours after when we thought she would be. And um, then this past weekend, my plans just didn't align with hers. So, but she did leave this for me at the front desk and it was in this cute little uh, gift bag here. And I'll go ahead and I will read the note. So thank you again, Thelina and your family. And I greatly appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you again for all of our goodies. Here you have a shirt that says, life is precious. In, and I, oh, I don't want to mispronounce it in... Papi Papiamento, our national tongue, uh, aside from Dutch, she says, and also a cloth map of our island and local currency with our national symbol. Hope you like them. And let me just tell you, I love these. Now, so the first thing that I pulled out of the bag was that shirt and it says Aruba and then it has that really nice saying on there that again, and thank you for translating it because I wouldn't have known, um, says, life is precious and how very true that is. You have to love the life that you are living absolutely in every single day. So love this shirt. It's a beautiful shirt. I cannot wait to try that on and I might have to fight my daughter even though she's dramatically smaller than me. I can see her wanting to wear this one as well. And then the other thing, <clears throat> excuse me, that was in the bag is a cloth map of their island. And this, I'll tell you right now, look at that. That is gorgeous. That will definitely end up in my classroom. I just love the detailing on this. Like, look at that. It's just so beautiful. And I have never been to Aruba. It's one of those places I have always wanted to go and I've just never gotten there. So I kind of feel like now I have my connection in Aruba. And um, if I'm ever in Aruba, uh, Thelina, we are definitely going to have to meet up. Uh, Thelina has been one of my customers and or subscribers for a long, 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 long time. I feel like I know her even though we have never met. So thank you so much and thank you uh, to your family as well. I hope that your holiday here in the Orlando area has been fantastic and will continue to be fantastic and that you have very safe travels on your way home. So thank you again for my amazing gift. 
Now, a couple of other things that I did pick up for myself over the weekend. This one, um, you know me and my love of stitch. And I went into the Emporium in Magic Kingdom yesterday. And I don't know why, but I have never seen the little plush with the big feet. I've seen a whole bunch of other characters, but not the big feet um, stitch one. And I had to have him. I immediately was grabbed, I was pulled to him, and I just absolutely had to have this little buddy. But as you know, sometimes Disney runs some specials. So uh, they were $27 originally, but if you bought two, uh, they were $22. So I bought two of the little stitch big feet plush. So I have one extra for $22. If anybody would like one, I do have one. You are welcome to add that to your order if you see any extras that you want or if you placed an order and you just wanna go ahead and add him to it. Just send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com and I have a big feet stitch plush for you for $22. I love this little guy. I cannot wait to take mine into my classroom because believe it or not, High school students still love stuffed animals. They still love being silly. They, <laughs> I have students that will take the stuffed animals I have in my class and they will just um, sit with them in their arms while we're working or they'll put their head on them while we're doing something and it's kind of adorable to see. You know, Stuffed animals, there's something about them. It doesn't matter how old you are. They can be pretty soothing and comfortable. Now, a couple other things that I picked up, and one will stay here and one will end up going to my classroom. I actually went on the hunt for the um, orange popcorn bucket. It's the Mickey Head Balloon Popcorn Bucket, but it's orange. I didn't realize that it is only for the um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party guests. I didn't realize that, so we went on the hunt for it, um, only to find out that we couldn't get them, but I did find two that I was interested in, and this one is the Oogie Boogie. I've already removed the lanyard because we're actually gonna just use this as a decoration. And this is a popcorn bucket, so it's got that little flip out there. But for me, this was the thing that was the coolest. It lights up. So you can see that. You can either have it flashing or you can turn it steady a steady light. So we'll probably keep it as a steady light, but my husband loves Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I want to say this one was $17, maybe $16, I'm not sure. Um, came with popcorn, and now I have the cute little plastic Halloween decoration that we can use. So that was his favorite, but my favorite is this one here. This one is the, because you know I love the poison apple, anything poisoned apple. I just love the, um, the image. I just think it's really kind of cool and creepy. So this one here is a bubbling cauldron. It also has the light up feature. And if you really wait for it, you're going to see that the lights are going to start to bubble. So it looks like it really is bubbling in the cauldron. So this one will probably end up in my classroom when Oogie Boogie is going to stay here. But I just think that this is awesome. And for Halloween, I have my entire classroom done up with lights and garland and all of that. And the kids really seem to love it. So this will end up there. Now those were my goodies. I also ended up buying myself this t-shirt, this Disney Life t-shirt. I almost picked it up for full price in the store because I've been eyeing it and eyeing it and wouldn't you know it, I held off and thank God that I did because I went over to the outlet and they had quite a few. So I did pick up a couple of sizes of the Disney Food Line t-shirts that they had and I'll show you those in just a second. But I did end up picking this up for myself as well. Now, into the things that I picked up for other people. One of my customers had asked me to pick up this magic band and this is the Fantasyland magic band. It is a limited release, um, but you can see some of the images there. Now you can get this at the transportation ticket center. So you didn't necessarily have to have a park ticket to get it. Um, I believe you can also get this one at Disney Springs now. So if you were going to be in the area and you didn't have a ticket to get in, but you still liked the magic band, um, you can certainly do that. This one is $29.99, and I did pick that up for one of my customers. And then, because the Starbucks is right there next to the Vineland Road um, 
outlet, one of my customers had asked for the Starbucks Orlando You Are Here or You've Been Here um, collection mug. I'm just going to pull that out to kind of show you. That is really a beautiful, beautiful mug. So she wanted me to pick that one up for her. So I did go ahead and I did that. And again, it's because it is literally right next door to the character warehouse. So it wasn't an issue for me to just run in and to get that. And let's see how much that one was. So if you ever needed a Starbucks mug, I certainly could do the same for you. It was only $12.95 as well. So with tax, it came to $13.80, right? So that's not bad for a really nice Starbucks mug. Now, I know that you can see this kind of curled up here in the corner. I did have a customer that asked me for um, some of the luggage that the character warehouse had been getting. She asked me for one piece of the luggage, so I did go ahead and get one for her, but I did get one extra piece. So I do have an extra hard shell. This is that comic book print. I'll try to get it closer so that you can see it. This is the comic book print hard shell luggage and it has the lock right on there. This is very nice quality. This was originally a $200 piece of luggage and they were selling those for $69.99. So again, I have one extra in the comic book luggage if you were interested in that. Now let me pause for a second because I'm realizing I didn't necessarily go over that. If you are new to the channel and you're seeing some extras that you might be interested in, you didn't have an open order, you don't really know how all this works, all you have to do all you have to do is send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com and let me know what you would be interested in. And if I still have it available for you, I will just open an invoice. It is a $10 shopping charge, no matter how many items you end up getting. So it's $10 if you get one item, it's $10 if you get 10 items. And that's not per item, that is just for the invoice. So once the invoice has been opened, your shopping charge is it's included, it is paid for. You can add any extras that you're seeing. You would always just give me a list because as people are sending me emails, the items are going, they're going into their individual shopping bags. So everything that you're seeing, you might not necessarily get, um, but just send me an email and I will communicate back and let you know what you did get, what you didn't get. Um, and then it's really, it's that simple. Then I send you an invoice through PayPal. You go ahead and you pay it. And then you let me know if you would like me to ship or not. I can build that into the invoice or we can send a separate invoice for shipping. And as a reminder, I do store items. So if you do have an upcoming trip to Disney and you don't want to pay for shipping, I can do a resort delivery. That is not a problem. I charge $10 for resort deliveries and that's it. Shipping is obviously going to be more than that. So if you do have an upcoming trip, sometimes that is the more economical way to go. So with all of that said, let's continue going on because, excuse me, Miss Masha, excuse me, my dear, um, I do have a lot of clothing that I want to share with you. And then we're going to go over to the three tables worth of stuff that I was able to get for you. So this haul video is going to be long. I'm just going to tell you that right up front. So you may just want to hunker down and plan to stay with me for a while. Poor Miss Masha, she just wants to be right in here today. All right, so the very first thing, I have a couple of the dress shop dresses. These are the Mrs. Pops and Chip dresses. So you can see that there. Such a cute dress. I have, let's see here, these were originally 108 and they were down to $24.99. I do have a variety of sizes. I don't even really know what sizes I picked up because um, I got whatever I could. They were limited to one per skew per person and I was kind of alone doing the shopping. So um, I got what I could. I might have one small of this, one small of that. It is first come, first serve. So this one is a small dress. Let's see here, we'll start an empty bag so that everything stays up off of the floor. All right, then in addition to that, this was one of the new shirts that they had out this week. This is an extra large and it says, we all scream. It's that beautiful kind of um, mint green with the sequined we all scream Mickey ice cream bar. And this was originally $39.99 down to $9.99. So that one is an extra large and I know I did grab that in a couple other sizes as well. As far as I know, those are all extras. This one here is another one of the Disney Life shirts, like the one that I have on, but this is a large, and you can see that there. So this is $9.99, originally $34.99. Then another dress shop dress that I was able to get. This is the Disney Dogs. 
such a cute little dress here, but this is an extra small. It was the only one that I was able to get and it is an extra small. This was originally $129 and it's down to $24.99. So $129 dress down to $25. That is not bad. Now don't get all excited. I did get a couple of spirit jerseys, all an extra small size, and these are gone already. People had seen them on other people's videos and started emailing me, hey, if you pick this up, hey, if you picked that up, I would love it. So these are actually gone. Han and Mansion spirit jerseys. I'm hoping that they will get more because I would love one and my daughter would love one. So we do have these here. Now let's see, I don't know that they have a price tag on them. No, this one doesn't. I'll check the other one. Um, but I want to say that they were originally $70 or something like that, and they were down to, I think it was almost under $20. i am not entirely sure of that. I did get one um, up dress shop dress. This is a size 2X, though. It was the only one that I was able to get in this, I believe. So this is a size 2X, but look at the detailing on that. You've got the house. You've got the balloons. Such a cute little dress, same thing, $24.99, and this one was originally $128. So, beautiful dress. Got one other spirit jersey. This is a kid's spirit jersey. I got an extra large size because I know some of you that wear extra small adults, and small adult would be able to fit into this. This is a Disney Cruise Line spirit jersey. And this was originally $44.99 down to $17.99. So I do have one of these in size extra large in case anybody wanted that. Now another new shirt that they had, it was this Make It Pink, Make It Blue. And what's really cute is that this has, I believe it does, yes. It has the flip up, the flip up sparkles there. So you can kind of see how it changes the color from pink to blue and then I believe with the blue it changes to pink as well. So we'll just flip that up or like that. And it's just an easy flip so you can see that. Make it pink, make it blue. I picked up a couple different sizes. This was originally $34.99 down to $12.99 and this one is a large. Let me see, I know I have more but we'll have to go through one at a time. Um, these cupcake shirts as well the long sleeved shirts they picked up a few of those in different sizes originally 49.99 down to 9.99 an insane price drop on those so this one is an extra large and then let's see here here's another one this one is an extra large so i did get a few of those extra larges now i did try that on and it was a little bit it wasn't snug but it definitely wasn't loose in my arms so if you normally like a take an extra large, but you like things a little bit looser, you might want a double X or bigger. Um, oh, and this is an extra large. So I have those in extra large, it looks like, but I'm sure that I got another size as well. A medium. So I do have a medium of that shirt also for anybody that wanted that. Now, I did have a customer that asked me for one of these in a specific size, and I couldn't find it at first, and then I did, so I just grabbed a couple. But this is that, it kind of looks like a spirit jersey, but it is t-shirt material. And this was a double extra large. And I believe this is the extra one, and that was $9.99. Then I have, here are the remaining We All Scream shirts. And this one, again, it was $9.99. This is a size large. And remember, I had an extra large from before. I think this is a 3X because when you find things that are 3X, I like to get those for people just because it's sometimes hard to find those. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This was one of the new shirts that I did end up. I got one of these for myself as well. This is the Mickey Balloon Makers, another one that I almost bought full price not too long ago because I thought it was so cute. This was originally $34.99 down to $12.99, and this one is an extra. It is an extra large. Let's see. And don't worry, I have bags and bags and bags of clothes that I picked up this week. So here's another Make It Pink, Make It Blue. This is an extra large. This one is a size large, and this one is so cute, I hadn't seen it before. This is the Tomorrowland Dreamer Society, and again, that is a size large, and this was originally $34.99 down to $12.99. Super soft fabric, really nice 
t-shirt there. This one is a double extra large, and this is that um, light blue raglan that they've had, $34.99 down to $9.99. Such a cute shirt. Now that is a men's size though, so ladies, if you normally wear a little bit smaller in a men's size, just so you can kind of keep that um, in your mind. This is a size large in that Disney Life shirt, the one that I'm wearing, and again, that one is $9.99. Another Make It Pink, Make It Blue. Let's see what size I grabbed in this. This is a 1X of the Make It Pink, Make It Blue. This is a shirt that one of my customers had asked me to get for one of his, um, well, I'm not sure if it's for one of his children, but I ended up getting, it's a youth extra large only because um, they didn't have a lot of sizes left in this one. $9.99 and it's originally $29.99 but look at that it's gorgeous and it's got that sequined back so beautiful. $9.99 down from $29.99. Gorgeous gorgeous t-shirt. Then this I hadn't seen before either and this is one of those um, flip up shirts as well. $39.99 down to $9.99. It is just a pink with a regular Mickey and it does flip up. So let's see what it looks like when we flip those sequins up. Give you a sense for what... Okay, so it switches from pink to like a silvery, an iridescent silver. So you can see that there. And that one is $9.99. Then I was only able to find one pair of the um, Ariel and Ursula socks, but those are $3.99. Here are a couple more of the Mrs. Potts dress shop dresses. Let's see what sizes these are. Okay, so this one is a medium in Mrs. Potts dress shop dress. And then I also have Let me see here. I also have this one in a 2X. So I was able to get this one in a 2X as well. And again, these dress shop dresses are 24 99 so that's it for that one bag of clothing let's go on into the others now i do have still in case you are looking for this i have a pirate layout set a three-month layout set i'll just open it and show you this was 7.99 when i bought it this is a holdover from a couple of months ago actually now so if anybody wanted that 7.99 for that and that was originally 45 dollars. so if you need um like a baby shower gift or something that would be perfect then I also have the Born to be Famous. This is a newborn onesie, and it is $12.99 down from $24.99 if anybody was interested. Here's one more of those Mrs. Potts dresses, and this is a size extra large for $24.99. So the Mrs. Potts dresses were the ones that I was definitely able to get um, a nice variety of sizes on. All right, another one of those Haunted Mansion Spirit jerseys and no tag on that as well, but again, both of these are gone. Both of those are already sold. They sold before I even got home yesterday. Um, flower tank tops. I know one of my customers had asked me for, I believe it was a size medium, $34.99 down to $9.99 and I was able to find it. But same thing because I couldn't find the exact size. I ended up buying a couple of others. So you might, if there was one that you wanted, I might have your size. It all started with a mouse. This is a size small, but it is a men's small. So if you wear a medium, ladies, and you like this one, it should definitely fit you. This was originally $39.99, and it's down to $7.99. So that one is still, every once in a while, I'm running into a couple of those at the outlets. This was new. This is, um, it's a two-sided sequin flip up or down. It's like the Mickey Mouse, and it's like a tank top. But let's see, flip up or down. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, okay. So if you flip it all the way up, you've got silver. But if you really like that more rainbow effect, you flip it down. So this was originally $39.99. And that size has an extra large. I got a small in that one as well because I knew that one would be popular. Let's see. I thought I got a couple others of those, but I'm not... I'm not seeing them. Um, I do have another one of the famous hats. This one seems to be really popular for $7.99. And what I love is it's got that little um, embroidered unicorn on the back. Just really, really cute. All right, so I was able to get a couple of pairs of the Small World leggings. So we've got Small World leggings here. I'll just kind of give you a rough idea. Are these Small World? Yes, they are. So you can kind of see 
all the different detail and then you've got the face there. All right, so let's find the tag. These were originally $39.99 down to $12.99 and what size are these? I had one person already ask me for a specific size. These are 2X and I believe I grabbed, it was either a 1X or just an XL. I grabbed what they had. So a 1X. So you've got a 1X, there's a 2X. One of these is already sold. I'm not sure which size. I can't remember which size. This one I got for myself. I've got to try it on still. So if it doesn't fit, it might be an extra, but I loved this. This was originally $69.99 and they had it for $19.99. It is a hooded sweatshirt. And just look at that. Look at that. It's all kind of rhinestones. It's got that classic um, Mickey head with the castle. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try it on and see if I like it. <coughs> if I don't, it'll go into the extra pile. Um, but I definitely had to get that one for myself. I did have one of the customers ask me about the black and white kid socks. So I did pick those up uh, as well. I don't remember how much these were though. And of course they're not priced. That's one thing I'm not liking lately is they're not marking everything. So it's difficult to know when you're grabbing things. Now this is one of those food collection shirts that they had. Another one that I would have loved to have gotten for myself, but they just didn't have my size. This one was... Originally $34.99 down to $9.99, and this is a size medium. So if anybody wanted that one, just so cute with all those Disney food um, symbols in there. This one, oh my gosh, I would totally, totally, no, this is the same one I'm wearing on. I'm looking at the other one. Um, so this is another one of those extra large Disney life shirts. So if anybody needed another or an extra large, I do have that. This was the one that I really wanted for myself and I couldn't find it in the right size. This is a size medium, or wait a minute, what? Well, it was on the wrong tag. All right, so I might be getting this one as well. <laughs> I might be getting this one for myself as well, but I'll try it on. If I don't like it, it'll be in the extras. So this says currently craving and it's got all of those um, beautiful Disney treats. This was originally $34.99 down to $9.99. I honestly thought that this was a medium because it was on a medium hanger and I grabbed it because it was the only one that I saw. I'm going to try that on because that is just too cute. And then I have um, another one of the flower shirts, tank top shirts. This is a size large, $9.99. So I believe this is my extra if anybody wanted that. Let's make sure we've got everything. I also have, this I believe is the one in the right size for my customer. This is an extra large and it's that green retro Walt Disney World rainbow effect on the back there. And that one was $9.99. And then I did grab another one of the Tomorrowland Dreamer Society in a size large because I figured quite a few of you would like that shirt. So that is $12.99. Um, and I also have one more pair of the Minnie and Mickey socks on the bridge. Just so, so cute for $3.99. Let me just double check, make sure. I think that that is it on the clothing. And then we have three tables of stuff that I have to show you. So let's go on over and check all of that stuff out. Okay, so we'll start over on this side. I was able to get quite a few more of the Mickey Cinch Sack, that kind of comic book print from last week for $7.99. I do have quite a few of those. I was able to get one of the Castaway K photo albums for $4.99. I think that was originally $20 down to $4.99. Some of these Minnie Mouse magnet frames also. These were $2.99, so really cute. Then the Meet Me at the People Mover and the Meet Me at the Purple Wall Buttons. I have a few of those for $1.99. One of my customers had asked for a set of the string lights for $19.99, so I do have those. Then some more of the BB9E keychains for $1.99. They did have some pins this weekend. They had some of the Mary Poppins for $6.99. I believe one is gone, but the other one is available. Mouse Party pins for $2.99. Those were $2.99 this weekend. And then these were $1.99, this unlock, what does it say? Unlock the fun. 
Then these were new. I hadn't seen these before. I know they've been in and out of the outlets, but these are uh, Mickey in front of that birthday castle. And these were $3.99 if anybody wanted one of those. They did have some more of the Minnie Mouse pen set, so I grabbed a few more of these. These were $4.99 down from $17.99, but for $4.99. I did get one more of the tea balls because it seems like people really, really like those, so I grabbed those. I still have one set of the American Legend Mickey towels for seven were those seven ninety nine yes I believe that they were and originally twenty one dollars I believe that, that they were now over here I have some different Disney jewelry nobody had asked me for these but I saw them and just couldn't resist so this is an Alice in Wonderland charm bracelet it looks like and the main reason that I couldn't resist look at this price originally twenty dollars down to five ninety nine this is another Alice in Wonderland. It's like one of those um, tiered necklace sets that you can see that. Same thing, $5.99. So some really nice prices there. And then they did also have a Rapunzel Tower one. And I can't quite make out what that says. Let's see if we can see it. All right, well, I can't necessarily read that, but hopefully one of you can read that. I don't have my glasses on. But let's see what's on the other side of it. It doesn't look like there's anything on that side. So this was also $5.99 down from $19.99. Then coming over to keychains and things like that, I do have one of the fairy godmother ornaments. I had found one kind of tucked aside, um, and I had just forgotten about it. So for $7.99... If anybody wanted that, I do have that available. These keychains were somewhat new. These were $1.99, and what I love is it has that kind of um, that Minnie and Mickey with the dole whip in the castle. It's all that motif from last year, which is really nice. And they were $1.99, so you cannot get um, better in terms of little trinkety things for Christmas. They did have some of the Hollywood Studios ornaments. The I believe it's the 30-year celebration. Yep, 30 years, 2019. So I picked up quite a few of those. I think I have five. I did get some more of the pennant keychains um, just because I know people wanted those for $1.99. These keychain keychains that I could not get enough of last time that I shopped, I was able to pick up, I think I have 10 or 12 of those. So $4.99, I think maybe three or four are already gone, but the rest of them are up for grabs. So $4.99 there. In terms of tumblers, this My Happy Place tumbler is $7.99. You can see that there, and I have six of them. I think four are gone and two are available. And then Dream Big, the pink tumbler, the Aurora tumbler, that is also $7.99. I did pick up just a couple of the um, Ariel and the Snow White mugs that they've had for $2.99 each, but I do have a couple of those. And then the Belle Fashion Mug for $5.99, and I do have quite a few of those actually. All right, so now we'll take a look at table number two, and this one is a funny story. These millennial pink ones have been sold out for a while, but as I was checking out my last time, um, a gentleman came in and was returning 10 sets of these ears that he bought for $4.99. I picked them up for $4.99. They just moved them from his register to mine. So $4.99 for the Millennial Pink Ears. I do have 10 of them if anybody still needs those. They had this awesome salty hat, Disney um, pretzel, salty. It's just so cute. It's kind of a nice velvety feel on the brim of the hat as well. So for $7.99, I have one of those. Then I have one of the Hollywood Studios 30 year celebration hats for I think that was $7.99 also. They did have some of these Minnie Mouse, um, it's a smaller backpack, um, but it's still a really beautiful backpack and those are $14.99 down from $29.99. These I also found and it's funny because I almost purchased it full price for my daughter back when they were in the parks. It says Adventure there on the chain. Um, these were originally $19.99, but they, those are down to $5.99, I think. I'm gonna have to just double check because none of these are marked. So I will check um, the receipt. Then I did pick up quite a few of the Mickey see-through confetti pouches as well. I think I have five of these. And these were originally $20 down to $9.99, so let's Oh, looks like I've got more buttons in there, so I'll move those. 
I was able to get a few of these black leather lounge fly totes with the pink. It's the um, flip up, flip down sequence. So I'll show you that, right? So if you just flip them up, you've got silver instead of the pink. So you have that. These were $29.99. Let's see if I can find a price tag. And I do have, I think, three of these. $29.99, and they were originally $70. So over half off there. The Castle Tote, I have 10 of them. I was able to get my limit. So 10 of the Castle Totes, $19.99, originally a $49.99 bag. So I also have uh, a Dole Whip ear hat for $7.99. I did have two of those, but unfortunately one of them I didn't check closely enough and the little umbrella is off, so I'll have to return that and see if I can replace it. But right now I only have the one. Then to kind of go along with that hard shelled luggage that I showed you at the very beginning, they did have this comic book backpack. This is definitely a full size backpack, really good travel pack. $19.99 for this one. Let's see if I can find an original price on it somewhere. Here we go. Original price on that was $49.99. And again, those are $19.99. So I'll just tuck that one back in there. Oh, I'm going to knock the monorail over, so I'm going to put it back there. All right, so now there's a whole bunch of little bags that are available now, and most of those are $9.99, so that's what I'll share, and not all of them are marked. So they had the Mickey ice cream bar bag, and this is just like a cute little change purse. It's not going to hold much, but it's just adorable. So $9.99 if you've got a big um, Mickey ice cream bar fan in your family. The World Traveler bag, this is also... $9.99. Let's see here if we can open that up for you. We'll open it up so that you can see the size. Now this one looks like it will be much bigger than the Mickey ice cream bar, but oh, and with all the stuffing and everything, but I can tell you it is bigger. It's definitely bigger. It's got a lot more space in there than the Mickey ice cream bar. So that one is cute, a little small world, world traveler for $9.99, originally $19.99. Then let's see here, I also have this, um, somebody was returning as I was at, in line another time, and this was $12.99 down from, let's see what it was originally, down from $29.99 and it was $12.99. So I have one of those, only one of those. Small World bag is taken. Somebody had asked me for that, but I will show you the price. $41.99 down from $84. Then the Mrs. Potts bags, I believe both are taken, but please just let me know if you are interested just in case an order falls through, and I think those are $45. The little figment are bags, these are, I think these were $19.99. Let's see if they're marked. No, but they were, a ri whoa, 65? I'm gonna, 85? No, 65. I'm gonna have to just double check. I wanna say that the receipt said that they were $19.99, but I would imagine that they're a little bit more than that, so I'll double check. And I do have, I think, three of those if anybody wanted one. Then I also have the Mickey Mouse Club throw. You can see it there that was originally $39.99 and they had those for $15. I have three of the Dole Whip um, Danielle Nicole's because they are just gorgeous. $24.99 down from $65. Then I also have the Dole Whip little like change purses. See, you're not going to hold much in that, but it is just too stinking cute. $9.99. The Passport, like a billfold for also $9.99, but it's got the Small World logo on there. So let's just make sure that it is $9.99. And yes, it is. So I have three there. They had one of these that I found. So I went ahead and I grabbed it. Same thing. You're not going to fit a ton, but definitely more than some of the others. And this is a wristlet. This one is also $9.99. And then they also had the Spin Me uh, little change purse. This is super cute. I love this one. And this is also, I believe it was $9.99. Yes, that's correct. So make sure I haven't missed anything over here. I know you see that sitting down there. I know that you see it, but relax. It's coming up in just a second. Then um, they did have a couple of the VHS uh, wallets. One in Aladdin, one in Lion King. I got two of each. I think the Lion King one, one of those is taken. The others are available as extras. That's the one that everybody I'm sure was just looking at. I have three 
of the Genie Loungefly backpacks. I want to say that these were $34.99, but I will double check that receipt. So let's see if I can focus in. $80? Yes, $80 for the Genie backpacks originally. And those were, I think, $34.99 or $39.99, but I will double check the receipt on those. And then one of the Epcot balls. This one is, I believe, spoken for, but this was $24.99 originally. What's the price on that? $60? Oh, I'm not sure. But $24.99 now. If you were interested, just let me know, even though I believe it's taken. All right, then they did have some new mugs. Official Mouseketeer mug for $5.99. That was just too cute to pass up. They put these out and they were gone within minutes. This is the um, plastic tumbler for illuminations. And let's see here. Originally, that doesn't make sense. $18.77. I can't remember if these were $5.99 or $7.99, but I will double check the receipt on those. And then look at this new Winnie the Pooh mug, gorgeous, with the gold handle. And then it's this back piece that I loved the most. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. So if you have a Winnie the Pooh fan in your family, $5.99 for a gorgeous mug for the holidays is not a terrible price. Then I did pick up one of the uh, Dooney and Burke, the cat bags. Let me see, $2.98 originally. I'll just have to double check the price, but then I would imagine that that's gonna be around $1.50, but I will double check, and this was already spoken for, so uh, I don't have an extra in that one. Then I did pick up a few extra plush. So I have a Minnie Mouse cupcake, I have the Dual Whip, I have the ice cream bar. These are all scented. So this one smells like vanilla. This one smells like pineapple. This one smells like chocolate. The pizza one, I didn't really get much of a scent off of, but this is the pizza slice. You can see the little Mickey head pepperoni there. And I want to say that these were, they ranged between $9.99 and $15. So let's see. These were originally $27.99. I'll check the receipt before I invoice anybody, but I know that they were right around that $10 to $15 mark. Then they did have some of the little Eeyore plushes, none of the Christopher Robin plushes when I was there, but I did pick up a few of the um, Eeyore uh, little plush for $4.99. I have quite a few of the Wishables. This is the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean for $2.99 if anybody wanted that. And then I did get an Eeyore pillow pet for $15. Let me make sure, yeah, I think he was 15 and I believe Olaf was 15 as well. So I have one of each of those. Oh, and as I'm scanning, I missed a couple of things. Would you look at that? So the leader of the club bag I missed, and that is $7.99. Can't believe I missed over that. One is gone to somebody else, but then I do have those. And then these ears. I missed the Mardi Gras ears. So these were $7.99. If anybody wanted some, I think I have five, maybe six pairs of the Mardi Gras ears, if anybody wanted those. Okay, so that was it for what I was able to purchase. As you can tell, it was a pretty epic shopping haul. I um, had so much fun doing it, and I, you know me, I love to go shopping. Uh, the mornings are problematic now. They're just not as enjoyable as they once were. Um, but I will tell you, from my experience, if you're planning to go to the character warehouse, um, it's okay to hit it in the afternoon because here's what they're learning. If they put everything awesome out in the morning, all of us personal shoppers, everybody with an eBay shop, they're running in first thing in the morning, they're snatching up all of those really great items. That means that there's disappointment from their other guests when they come in later in the day. So they're starting to stagger things. So for example, those genie backpacks, they were putting more out when I went in for the last time. So, they are definitely staggering things. So that will hopefully allow more people to be able to get different items and get that little sense of happiness that maybe um, going first thing in the morning and rushing and trying to do Black Friday crowds and all of that. It's just, it's a disaster there some days. So for, from now on, I think I'll try to do like I have done the last couple of weekends is try to do a little bit of a mix, a little bit of the morning, a little bit of the afternoon, and then just have a much more enjoyable experience.
So before I finish up with my video, I was completely remiss when I did the introduction, when I started talking to you initially, and that was when I was getting my uh, cauldron popcorn bucket, I ran into a subscriber, and I cannot believe that I forgot to talk about that when I was talking about the cauldron, um, but it was just the sweetest encounter it really it made my entire day i told a friend that i was there all about it and she was of course joking and laughing at me the entire rest of the day i don't know that i will ever live it down because i was just enjoying the moment so much um but shauna thank you so much for talking with me in line for being a subscriber for letting me know that um my videos are sometimes a little bit of a guilty pleasure for you um and i appreciate that more than you could ever know it really definitely made my entire day to know that there are people out there that are really watching and i'm going to run into you and we are all real people and i know this but it's nice to have those little reminders when you're running into people that um, have seen your videos and commented and tried to engage with you and things like that so Shauna thank you so much again it meant it meant the world to me so thank you very much so just one last reminder about our giveaway for October if you haven't already hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that and you can get yourself three entries into the drawing for the month of October comment on any of the videos that we're uploading over the course of the month as well because then you'll get additional entries I am going to be drawing for my September September winner very soon. I have everything all pulled together. Um, I was hoping to hear from my August winner before I drew for September, um, but she's an international subscriber and it takes time to get those packages there. So that's fine. That is not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and do the announcement of our winner in probably the next couple of hours. So if you were hoping to be that winner, just keep tuned, come back for that video and check out that Facebook page. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at Mickey's magical delivery at gmail.com and until our next video. Bye-bye.